In this tutorial, I'm going to show you five option infographic slide in PowerPoint. You can see there's a semicircle there and then I have added an icon with a full circle. And when I click, it will show you the first option and it will give you the text. The second option, it will come with the icon and the text. And you can see the main icon is rotating with the options. This is the last option, option number five. And apart from this one, I have added two more slides. This is the white background without animation. And this is the, the dark background slide. So let's see how we can create this PowerPoint slide. Add a new slide. Go to view, enable the guides. Go to insert tab, shapes and select a oval shape draw the oval shape maybe this much size and you can make it align middle and bring to the left side make sure that more than the half circle is inside the slide make it no outline go to insert shapes and select a rectangle draw the rectangle go to format shape make it a transparent make it no outline go to insert shapes and select the arc draw the arc and using the orange pointer you can just increase the size i have used the rectangle just to show that to know that okay we are aligned properly with the circle Now I'm going to delete this rectangle. You can make it further arc. I think this is better. And go to insert shapes or select oval shape. Oval shape, make the height as 0.3 inches and width also the same 0.3 make it no outline and you can use some gradient fill colors use any two good combination colors and bring at the top of the arc and add one more by pressing ctrl D and this you can reduce the size to 0.2 inches and bring on top of the the bigger circle and make the color as white select both the objects and make sure that it is aligned properly Now select this object to circles and press Ctrl D. First group it, Ctrl D and then bring it here. So I'm just going to add five circles. If you want you can add more. Make sure that it is aligned properly. You have to spend a little bit of time here to do the right alignment. And then start changing the color 
of the oval shape give some different color combination Now we have almost color all the circles. Select the circles again. Press Ctrl D to duplicate. And again bring top of the, the circles. Make sure that it is aligned properly. And for this also, I'm just going to give a gradient fill of uh, different colors. Press Ctrl D to duplicate, make it a white or light gray circle and put it on top of the the gradient circle you can duplicate the slide select the first one and increase the size to 0.7 or 0.8 or 0.5 you can make it make it 0.7 and just bring to the right side and go to transition select morph transition you can see the transition effect there and then add the text so i'm just going to copy the text from my tutorial you can add a small line there You can make it less transparent. And make it a, a gray color. Now duplicate the slide again. Right mouse click and duplicate. Now select the second option, increase the size again to same 0.7 inches, height and width. If you have the icons, you can add the icons there, but in this one, I'm not going to add the icons. Add the text now, press Ctrl D to duplicate the line and bring it here. So if you see here, it will show you the first option. When I click, it will show me the second option. So likewise, I'm just going to do for the remaining 3, 4 and 5.
you can change the option one two three four five which I have not changed here and this is my last line there so let's do a slideshow it will show you the first option the second third you can make it somewhat faster also if you want and this is the last option and you want you can add some icons also there that's it from me friends thank you for watching my youtube channel and don't forget to subscribe powerpoint university see you soon with more interesting stuff till then goodbye